Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm mummy to five and they're age seven and under and I'm from Belfast in Northern Ireland. So today is a special video because I'm actually going to be doing it as part of a collaboration with Kate Bridge from the mummy channel Kate Plus and I'm going to put a link in the description box down below. So make sure once you've watched my video to pop on over and see Kate afterwards. Kate is like me, she's many kids, she is mummy to four and they range from the ages 11 right down to baby Marnie who's six months old. And believe me, the gene pool is seriously strong in the Bridge household. The children are beautiful and Kate has a lovely sense of style in her home. So do definitely pop on over after you've seen my video. And basically my video is quite similar to the one I did last week which was specifically for Poundland and that was DIY baskets and gift ideas for Christmas. You seem to really enjoy it and ask to see more. Today I'm going to specifically do it for Poundland and a few other little stores as well. So everything is bargain price and I've tailored it so that if you're doing a secret Santa or a teacher's gift we have individual items that work from one or two pounds and built right up to ten pounds. So there's something there for everyone. And um, with each of the gifts, I have printed off personalized labels or just that little extra to make it a bit more personal for the gifts. And I think when you're making something homemade, it's nice to go to that extra effort and hopefully you enjoy it. So anyway, enough waffling. I'm just gonna crack on and show you what I picked up. So for the first gift, I picked up these fluffy socks, which were £2.50 for a set of two. And I got those in pre-marked. You can pick them up in Poundland as well. I chose these because I really like the quality and also the style and the pattern. If you want to cut corners, you can go for pound socks as well. And I'm going to show you a really cute gift for these. So I have just bundled the socks together in a nice tight little bunch and tied it with some decorative ribbon. These again are from Poundland and they're the wire ended ones so they keep it really nice and tight and snug. I have got a pack of two nail files, Gingerbread Man and the Polar Bear, a set of nail clippers, a nail varnish, I've just went for a sparkly one, I'm actually wearing that myself at the minute, and a little bath fizzer because I thought it would look really good. Really there's so much you could put into this little nest, you could go more high brand if you wanted and then I printed this off from Pinterest and it says hoping your mistletoes stay warm this season Merry Christmas and I'm just going to bundle it all in together. So with the socks and all the contents of this one it comes in at five pounds. So next I picked up this money box that actually says let the savings be gin on it and that was four pounds from Home Bargains and then this little drink disco ball drink dispenser uh, with the straw and that was one pound from Home Bargains also. So I'm going to show you a little gift that I'm going to put together with those. So I'm going to take that little money box and the little disco ball drink dispenser and pop it onto a cake board. I thought that would work really well just with the reflective surface on it. I'm going to add a little bottle of Bloom Gin and I seen this label on Pinterest and thought I would add it and it says Jingle Bells. And then I'm going to add some chocolate coins, you could either put it inside the money box or scatter to the front with double sided sticky tape, which is what I'm going to do. And to take it up to the value of a full £10, I'm adding a little scratch card and potentially this could take you from a £10 present to £5,000. And this is it all put together and personally I would love to receive that gift. Next I have picked up from Poundland the Jane Asher range a whisk for a pound and an oven mitt for a pound and I didn't want to go too Christmas themed if you do want to they do have really Christmassy oven mitts and on their own they're a bit bland but I'm going to show you a wee gift when we put them all together. So for this one I have actually put a set of two wooden utensils so everything's Poundland into the oven mitt and added a little tree decoration. It was a pack of three of these for two pounds in home bargain so I'm only using one and I have stuffed the whisk full of sweets and you could actually go for a fuller balloon whisk and send this out on its own as a present and print a little label which says we whisk you a Merry Christmas and I'm just going to pop that in all together. And this is it finished off and that comes to five pounds. If you wanted to add a wee bit extra in you could add these coasters that are a pound for a set of four in Poundland as well and that would just stuff right into the base as well. So this next gift, unfortunately I can't take the credit for, I've seen this on Pinterest and I think it is absolutely fantastic. 
So if you go to Poundland and pick up one of these dividers, you can go to the hardware section or even the hobby and crafting section and they do them in different sizes and styles. I got this one for a pound. And then I also went to the book section and seen this book, which says the, the Grumpy Dieter's Handbook. And obviously this gift is only for someone that has a really good sense of humour. It's perfect for a secret Santa if there's someone in the office that always starts a diet on a Monday and breaks it on the Tuesday. And that's me, that is me, and I would find this really funny. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've got the Grumpy Dieter's Handbook and this little hobby sorter. I have added a label that says keep calm and break glass in case of an emergency. And I've got all bits and pieces of my chocolate that had lying around the house. See, this is a cheap present coming in at three or four pounds. And I'm just going to fill up all the little sections. And then you've got your little sweetie stash. And if you wanted, you could go for more luxurious chocolates to take it up that price point. You could do this any time of year, but I've just added a wee bow to make it that bit more Christmassy for Secret Santa. And so not forgetting about the men in our lives, I went to Poundland and picked up these little crates for a pound each. And I've opted for the grey because I think it looks a bit more rustic and manly. We have got this one with the rope and then this style here, like a tray. And I just fill them with brown paper. You can get the hamper shredding, but I think it looks a little bit cheaper. And I think for a man's one, brown paper works really well. So for this one, I thought I'd make it a bit of an alcohol theme. So that is my crate stuffed with the brown paper. I've went, this set is a pound for the toffee with the little hammer, which I think is really good and looks more than a pound. I've seen this, so this is all from Poundland. I've seen this and I thought this is hilarious. It's a bottle opener and it says, get ready to stumble. And I'm going for alcohol theme, so obviously it would be Irish whiskey and cream. And of course me being Irish, a little bottle of Guinness. And I think these lights just add a nice little touch to it. And you get a pack of two, so I'm just going to add a wee set of playing cards to it as well. So it really is quite a manly one. And I'm going to add this Rudolph Punch, a little alcoholic recipe. So this ends up coming in at £7, with including the crates and the little lights as well, everything is reusable. And so for this little crate, I've made this more suitable for someone that doesn't want alcohol. And I've also printed off a little Christmas crossword or quiz that I'm gonna roll up into a script. Got some chocolate coins, some little sweets that come in a jar, that's actually a plastic jar, all of this is Poundland again. And the set of lights, a little Christmas tree decoration, an old fashioned telephone box, a big bag of nuts and then just a little game dominoes and so that is us with all the contents inside adding a few little chocolate coins scattered and putting those little lights just decoratively round and some brown paper stuffing it up at the bottom and that comes in around about the six pound mark so I really hope you did enjoy that video. Like I said, make sure to pop over to Lovely Kate's channel and the link is in the description box down below. And if you did enjoy this video, as always, please do give it a thumbs up, comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any videos. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.